Since man stepped out of the cave, it has always wanted to venture into the unknown and to get past the boundaries of what seems to be impossible. First, it was the wheel that allowed humans to move from one place to another, and when the land itself became known to us, we ventured into the seas to discover new continents and to go forth into the unexplored. However, there was one frontier left that nobody had surpassed. The skies. In the 15th century, the famous inventor Leonardo da Vinci came up with revolutionary designs that aspired to get mankind to fly, but it all ended with mere hopes that never came true. These ideas would be picked up centuries later by the Wright brothers, who did not only invent the biplane, but also set the foundation stone for the newly born world of aviation. Wright Brothers' design was a simple and rudimentary biplane that was built in 1903 and received the name of the Wright Flyer. Biplane means two wings, so the particularity of this aircraft is that it has two wings stacked one above the other. With an engine of 12 horsepower and a total weight of over 250 kilograms, the Wright Flyer could go up to 48 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 9 meters. On December 1903 this biplane flew for 59 seconds and landed 250 meters away from where it took off. At that time, such performance was an absolute revolution in the world of transports. After their initial success, the Wright brothers developed their invention and came up with two new designs that introduced lots of improvements such an increased range of over 40 kilometers. Biplanes were now something to consider as they would prove in the following years, especially during the great war that the world was yet to witness. As writer David Wong said, new technology is not good or evil in and of itself. It's all about how people choose to use it. European powers saw the huge potential of airplanes and understood that they could be put to good use in warfare. As the Great War took over Europe in 1914, world powers invested time and money into making these fragile biplanes deadly war machines. The first aircraft to ever fly over the battlefield were not designed for combat, for they carried out recognition missions over enemy territory and then returned to their airfield. Pilots, however, were given small firearms so they could fire at the enemy aircraft from the cockpit, which resulted in nothing but a waste of bullets. By 1915, biplanes were upgraded with machine guns that could be fired from the pilot's seat. This allowed biplanes to engage in proper dogfights and to become the killing machines that they were first intended to be. It didn't take long before world powers discovered the destructive capacity of aerial bombing and invested their money into a new type of aircraft. Bombers. These heavy planes were designed to carry a payload of explosives that would be dropped over the enemy territory causing a great deal of damage to strategic locations or enemy soldiers. By the mid-war, the aerial theater of the Great War was already set up. Among the most famous pilots of all time is Manfred von Richthofen, also known as the Red Baron. He was a German fighter pilot who became the most iconic character of aerial combat during the Great War as he took down over 80 enemy planes all by himself. He became a respected pilot not only for his victories, but also because of his way of flying. Historical evidence shows that his skills were unparalleled by any other pilot as he managed to amaze both Allied and enemy soldiers with his reckless piloting. His fate, however, was to be shot down over France during the early months of 1918. He would go down in history as the most remarkable aces of the Great War, if not of all times. By 1930, biplanes had already reached their maximum potential as combat aircraft. The designs used during the Great War were now obsolete and the rise of monoplanes cast a shadow over the biplanes. As the world was preparing for the upcoming struggle of World War II, world powers left behind the design of biplanes and adopted the new monoplanes that were not only faster but also more reliable. After the invention of jet engines by the end of the war, the biplane concept was forced into oblivion. The world of aviation has changed a lot since it was born in the early 19th century, yet its principles are the same. Flying. From the right flyer to supersonic jets or even space shuttles, we've proved that humanity has not changed a bit, 
for all these fine inventions are for nothing but trying to find new ways of venturing into the unknown. Thank you for watching our video. We put a lot of effort into making these, so you would be very welcome to subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, I hope to see you in the future.